building website calculators with cloud dev guys if you are marketers and you want to drive traffic to your website one of the ways you can do so is using calculator so if you have a loan solution so you can see many loans funnel or many loan providers they have like a calculator of the loans so what will what is the down payment how long is the loan duration and the interest rate and based on this how many payments you need to return every month or if you have a weight loss solution you can also build a calculator let's assume the user needs to enter like the his initial weight his space of of loss of weight and what would be like the end result how many he how much he will weigh at the end or for example what i did in this video and i will show, show you in a moment i wanted to build a calculator for split tests so basically a user will be able to add the amount of sample size of how many people visited his funnel or website or landing page versus the amount of people who visited the new landing page and then compare the conversions and the calculator will spit out the statistical significance and who uh, which variant is the winner in the split test now this is a cool tool that you can add to your website and visitors will hopefully get to your website via SEO or via different elements of the funnel if you're doing media buying or whatever and this calculator should be useful now many people overlook building calculators because it takes you need a developer to build them until now but from now on I figured a way which is pretty easy to build a simple HTML code snippet using cloud dev for those of you who don't know what is cloud dev it's a github repository which was published uh, a few weeks ago it's pretty amazing it's basically a visual store studio code extension that can be added easily to visual studio code it connects to, via api to cloud and then you can just write whatever you want over here the prompt and it generates the code it can write the files it can um, the factor the files it can do many cool things and what i built in this instance is i went to my website and i wanted to build as i told you a split test calculator basically this is an example please ignore the design obviously we can tweak the design it would be very easy but the main idea over here was the fact that i told cloud dev that i want to build a website calculator here is the initial prompt so you are tasked with creating a split test calculator that can be embedded in an element of website the calculator will allow users to input data for four variants including sample sizes and eventually what i expect is that um, to have an html snippet that basically compares all the variants and at the end gives me a suggestion regarding should i keep going should the split test keep going or not now initially it wrote the code you can see over here it wrote the code but it did a combination of javascript and html it didn't work when i embedded it so i asked it to write it 100 percent in html and this is what it what it created first of all it said i apologize for the confusion earlier i understand that you want everything in one html block for easy embedding here's a complete split test code in a single html block that you can directly paste into elementor into elementor html widget and this is exactly what i did this is my website uh, i'm using elementor on top of wordpress and i just pasted this code over here and this is what i got so i can add over here the variant sample sizes the amount of conversions and whenever i click let's change this let's say calculate results let's do 100 Whenever I click the calculate results, it compares all variants. It tells me the p-value and the confidence, and then it tells there is no significant, uh, and then it tells the statistically significant if there is uh, the amount of confidence or the statistical significance in the results, whether or not the results are statistically significant. Or oh, I'm over, all over the show. I'm, I hope that you are guys still with me and 
I'm explaining well. And at the end, we can see a recommendation. Let's do this from scratch, just so you'll see. So let's say variant one has 100 visitors, three conversions. Variant two has 102 visitors, five conversions. Variant three has 10 conversions. And variant four, same sample size and three conversions. Let's hit the calculate results. It's automatically calculated results and you can see the conversion rate. So it calculates the conversion rates for sample for variant one and for variant two, it compares them. Then it compares between variant one and variant three. 3% to 10%, as you can see over here, this is 10%. And eventually it gives a recommendation based on the current data, variant three has the biggest conversion, has the highest conversion rate at 10%. Consider running the test for a longer period or with more traffic to increase confidence in the results. Yeah, it's just a very simple way to utilize Cloud Dev or in general any LLM. You can use any LLM, but I like using Cloud Sonnet, which is the most powerful LLM for writing code. And I like using Cloud Dev because it simplifies the process of writing code and it's very easy to install. And very easily, we were able to create this um, code snippet and implement it in my website. Obviously, you can easily make adjustments later. Let's, let's give the task now. Can you make the design nicer? Use dark mode. And make the results section bigger fonts with underline. Let's see what it does. So it's making the API request. And for those of you who don't know Cloud Dev, I've uploaded my last three videos were about Cloud Dev, so check them out. It's a very powerful tool. It's like a coding assistant, but um, it has capabilities that I enjoy more than just using a coding assistant. I obviously also use Continue as a coding assistant. I use them together, but lately I've been using mainly Cloud Dev for high level stuff. If I want to make slight adjustments, I sometimes use Continue, which is a code editor, which you can run with uh, Cloud or even with uh, Olama, a local model. Now let's see, it created new HTML. Let's copy and paste this and see what it generated. So just showing you an example live of the capabilities. Obviously it wrote down the summary of what it did. Let's paste this. And wow, huge difference. Check this out. Split test calculator, four variants. Let's update this. 10, 103, 5, 6, 5, 12. Let's do this. And 100, let's see the results. Amazing, wow, I love, check out how fast it redesigned this form. So variant one versus variant two, variant one versus variant three, variant one versus variant four, variant two versus variant three, and the recommendation. Based on the current data, variant four has the highest conversion rate at 12, consider running the test for a longer period or with more traffic. Amazing, I really love this. So this is just a simple example of how you can build a calculator for your website. Um, as I mentioned, there are many use cases for building a calculator. It can be very useful in terms of SEO. So until now, if you haven't built a calculator uh, because you didn't know how to build a calculator, there's no excuse anymore. You can use Cloud in order to do so or just use Cloud Dev. That's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, obviously subscribe and like. If you have any suggestions or feedback, leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, keep on automating.